Oh, hey, guys. Oh, let me try that again. Hold on a second. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro. Kita Edition, because that's the name of my character, even totally, it's canon now. It's canonized, this is Kita. Ooh, another convo I can eavesdrop on. We gotta crouch to do it, we gotta be stealthy like a ninja, Shinobi. I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens, only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation says. Proclamations? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. Once again, the game hinting at you that, hey, this big old dude up there, maybe he doesn't like fire. Just maybe. So that's why I got my handy dandy loaded shuriken with me. That's not fire. Oh, well. Stealth kill. Oh, you sad? You, you sad that I just stealth killed your friend? Too bad. Uh, oh man, I still haven't gotten, uh, the skill that I want. Ah, oh, that's gonna make this a little rough. Oh well. There's an enemy I'm about to fight that. There's a certain skill that helps a lot with, but I haven't gotten it yet, so. Alright, the Chained Ogre's there, but we're gonna take care of this guy first. Now, there's a skill that you get that makes him really easy, but I guess we really don't need it. Clearly. Okay, so the Chained Ogre, the best way to fight him is to ch stealth kill him. Ah! Fuck, okay, hold on. So, wait, I should have held it on that because it annoys me. It tells you right there to dodge him and that there's some moves that you can't, um, that you can't parry. So grab attacks, you can't parry. But you can't dodge him with circle, which is what it was saying. You have to jump over that specific danger attack. That's the way to do that one. Can't believe I actually just let him hit me there. So dodging, sometimes you'll get away, but a jump isn't an automatic get away from that. So I'm trying to see if I can beat him without um, getting the flame or just early on. Okay, okay. Why don't you use some attacks that I can actually counter with? Like that. Or that. Nope. Oh, why did you jump that way, Sekiro? What are you doing? I mean, Kita. As his name is. As the game implies his name is. Strongly implies his name's Kita. Yeah, so again, notice the jump, and I got away from it. Dude, I'm tired of this. Do some attacks on me, you ass. Like that, so I can actually hit back. So yeah, unlike Souls, again, you can't par you can't dodge through a lot of the attacks in this game. You really gotta just like stay away from some, from some enemies. Like this one, staying away is the way to do it. Don't get too up close to them. Um, it's just, again, it's, that's just what makes it a kind of a different game. Where Souls, I'd be like right up next to the enemy and just iframing through anything. Oh shoot, why did I jump? Oh my god, I'm doing terrible against him. I actually have to heal twice? That's actually... Why am I playing worse now that I'm doing this let's play? Than when I played on my own. Second time now. Second enemy. Whatever, I pellets. Oh yeah, so that grab attack's really dangerous because he can throw you off the ledge if he hits you with it. It's because he keeps on using these damn attacks that like... There, that's... What the... Ah, I'm so bad at myself. Alright, I'm gonna use a pellet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay. You're being a pain this time. Okay, yeah, three kicks, fine. Oh, I even missed it. Missed the opportunity. Should probably use another pellet, but whatever. Man. I'm doing so bad against him. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, get two attacks in. And here we go. Run and get... Actually, two attacks was kind of dangerous there, but I don't care. I'm getting annoyed with how long this is. No, shoulda jumped, shoulda jumped. Ooh, that was close. I got lucky there, if I'm being honest. I, I deserve to die for that. Oh, I, I could have been greedy there, because another hack attack was going to take him down to this. But he does have two, so you can stealth kill him if you want for the first, which is like if you deactivate him knowing that you're there, he'll start walking away, and you can actually get a stealth kill in for one of the kills. 
but you still do have to get proper kills. So that's the thing with a lot of these mid bosses. Not all of them, but a lot of them you can stealth kill for the first kill. No, 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 no. Where was I supposed to go? There's an edge. There was an edge. I don't like being by the edge because I might accidentally jump off while I'm trying to get away from his attacks. Oh, bro, that was a mistake on your part. Drop kicking. Yeah, why don't you do your normal kick attack? That's annoying as hell. Okay, that's the multiple one? No, I guess not. Okay, again, jump that and you'll be fine. Jump and you'll be fine. Can I sneak in three attacks? Well, eh, it's kind of dicey. He might hit me for doing this, but whatever. Using the last of my pellets on just you. I feel so lame. Yeah, it seems like dodging's better for that specific one, but... No, 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 jump, jump, jump! Oh, shit, I didn't make it in time. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Okay, so this is fine. It's gonna activate the next thing that you need to activate in. Oh, does it actually take you back for the first one? No, never mind. It's just like this thing. So, surprise! You can resurrect if you die. I was hoping to stay alive as long as I could, but... Whatever, man. I, I totally wanted to die against this guy. Totally. Oh, no, 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 no! I can't get away! Okay. Gonna have to play a little bit safer here. Okay, that was a little too safe. I didn't think I was gonna fly that far back. <laughs> but now I think basically one hit's gonna kill me at this point, so... I would like to actually win. <laughs> Surprisingly, who would have thought? I'm stuck on the wall. That happens to me a decent amount in this game where I'll get stuck on a, a wall and... You know, just get totally screwed from walls. Yeah, the one thing that does make this guy a little bit easier is that his red attack is always going to be a jump one. So that at least is one thing that makes him specifically a little more simple. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get through that. Okay, can I? Nah, let's not risk it. Let's be a little safer about it since I'm so close to dying. And Shane Doger is dead. That was embarrassing. I'm good at this game, I swear. Whatever, still zero deaths. All right, so he's considered another mid-boss, so therefore... Got another prayer bead, and I got Shinobi Medicine Rank 1, a latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Medicinal knowledge is vital for Shinobi survival. Receiving wounds and battles is inevitable. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. I don't know if this is automatic. I think you get it for the more you die against a certain enemy, but I, ha I didn't die. I just used resurrect Resurrection once. I'll have to look up my footage and double check if I got this on him or when you get that specifically. Uh, I was gonna say, so here I could go forward. Eh, yeah, let's just go forward. That's fine. I'm not gonna backtrack it. Nightjar Monocular. Best item in the game, because now we can do lore. What's up, guys? Time for lore of the box and the hat. So sometimes in Japan, they will wear hats like this. Sweet lore, Dave. I know. Thank you very much. This is what you watch me for. The hat lore. And we get another Gord Seed here, so worth exploring this area. But what this? Ceramic Shard. He'll never see me. Never. He'll never see. So you actually can stealth kill guys from the ledge. I actually just found that out earlier today. But they have to be pretty specifically hugging the wall in a certain way. So since I know where to go here... We're going to come back to this spot momentarily. But first, before we do that, we're going to drop down and use one of these. I'm going to go ahead and get another Gourd Seed. So, let's go back to the Dilapidated Temple. So, I think in order to upgrade your skill points, you have to get a certain number of prosthetic tools to unlock the ability to do it. I'm pretty sure that's the timing of it. Which is why Hirata Estate's good to go to, which I haven't yet. Which, I guess I'll show you guys. I was gonna do that other area first, but I'll show you guys this. I saw... Yes? I saw you and Lord Kuro in a vision. A vision? Yes. 
Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however, is shut. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Notice anything different? Yes. Like what? I died. The Divine Heir's voice reached out to me, and suddenly I was alive again. So you died, and now you're alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection? Lord Kuro. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection. They are revived upon death. Repeatedly. Impossible. Yes. It is rather strange. And yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. Surprise, surprise. From Software made a game about immortality and undead. Who would have thought? I'm glad you've come. This power, it comes from Lord Kuros. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection, they are revived upon death, repeatedly. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. All right, so there she's kind of repeating stuff she'd said before. Oh, did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. So, what I think is going on... Well, not what I think, but pretty much is going on. Is there's different ways to be immortal in the game. So, you've gotten the dragon's heritage directly from the Divine Heir. And you're not really quite sure how. But over the here, this guy's also immortal, but he is immortal in a different way. And as he himself said, it could be called infected when you're immortal in the way that he is, which we'll find out a little bit more about later, but it's a different type of immortality than what you have. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before, if only a little. Take this. Well, I guess I was wrong. I'm not sure now what activates gain the Shinobi Esoteric Text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by Shinobi. Grants the ability to learn Shinobi-style skills within the text are the innermost secrets of the Shinobi art, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves can never be practiced by samurai. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. So that's what the skill points are for. I can hear the, the XP. Wing ring of a bell chime. You mean this old bell? An old woman asked me to offer it to Buddha. That bell. Have you seen it before? No. It is unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. But I call you sculptor, so you're my true sculptor. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You'll understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? If you want more forms for that fang of yours, you'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. Okay, so... Basically, he's, uh, I mean, it's implied that he's killed a lot of people in the past, and he's trying to atone for it. So let's pray at the altar, and this is going to be using that bell, and I think this scene was in the trailer, if I don't, if I remember correctly, but 
I try not to watch it too much because when I went, I wanted to go into the game as blind as Close I could. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. My eyes are closed in real life. I'm listening. I'm listening. All right, yeah, I hear nothing. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. So, let's talk a little bit about Dragon's Heritage. Just, just you know, just a little bit, right? Just, just a tiny bit. So, oh, okay. Well, first, interrupted by the fact that we just went to three years ago. Again, as he said, you're in a memory. And something important, we've heard a bunch about the Hirata Estate. I said I could have gotten there earlier. So, the moment you get the bell chime, you can go to a boom, the Hirata Estate. And now I can get skills, too. So, big skill to get is Mikiri Counter. So that's what I'm going to work on. Mikiri Encounter. Encounter. Mikiri Counter is pretty vital, I'd say. it's. I think it's the most vital skill of the entire game. So you definitely want that. Especially as you get further in the game. Uh, I mean, you don't need it, but it is incredibly vital. So, ah, I want to talk about Dragon's Heritage, but we got another dude to talk to. So, what, you, you're the guy who threw a shuriken at my face. What the hell, man? See, same outfit. You're the son of Owl. What happened? What happened? Thieves at Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The divine... But wait, what year is it though? What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. Oh, of course. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? The How did I not know? Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? That was three years ago. What is this? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. I don't remember any of this. Okay, so... But it appears this is the past. I honestly think, especially because this is part of what I like about From Software Games, that some of this stuff is a little too in your face. The dragon's prowess was... Like, the fact that it's three years ago, they had a subtitle before saying it was three years ago. So I just think they shouldn't have even mentioned it was three years ago in the subtitle. They could have done it here, that's fine. But chosen, chosen one or the other. Um... And then him saying the sculptor mentioned it's a memory. Again, you already got that information. You don't really need it relayed to you another time. I know it's a minor gripe, but it's just something that, um, you know, you know. for me, I like all this lore stuff and the puzzly elements of trying to figure out or piece it together. So I just don't think you need it, per se. You know, like, if they're going to give the info, whatever, they can do what they want. I just don't think they need to lay it out that obvious to you. Oh, I kind of got lucky with when this guy turned around. So the guy with the fire is more of like a wake-up call for other enemies. He's going to try to wake them up and get you to notice them. And that's what that guy does. Um, we're going to get some uh, magic carp scale, as I like to call it. Treasure carp scale, more like a magic carp. Uh, to an average person, it's just a beautiful scale. But there are some who exalt a certain master who considers these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them could be worthwhile. And you definitely, definitely do want to collect them. Which, uh, mostly you get for killing magic carps. Or treasure carps, whatever. I'm gonna call it magic carp. And here's one right now! Boom! So, again, get a treasure carp for it. Or magic carp scale. Whatever. So, as far as the dragon's heritage go, you might notice that when you first refer to Lord Kudo, who's your master, that's what you're referring to him as, right? But people started calling him the dragon heir. And something about his blood um, is important. I, I'm trying not to spoil stuff because I don't remember exactly what the characters were telling us at this point. Um, but the point is that his blood's super important. 
and it's called the dragon's heritage at that point and it seems that you have this dragon's heritage from his blood which is what's allowing you to come back to life uh, for something from Lord Kudo as the dragon's heir so the, if you guys are having trouble fishing these guys if you target them and do that uh, and as you dash forward attack during the dash it's going to launch you forward even further Look, it's the guy from Zelda Majora's Mask. Know about carp scales? The sparkly, shining scales of the treasure card. Bring them to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. I want handsome rewards. So he gives you Divine Grass with a Red Gourd, Mass Fragment Right, which is actually pretty good, but you can't do anything with it for a while. And Floating Passage Tax, which is just a skill that you get for free, essentially, if you buy it. Uh, for my part, Wither Red Gourd it will cure burn, burn status if you need, or help reduce burn buildup. Sorry, it doesn't heal burn status, as it says right there. It just reduces buildup. I never felt like I needed it, so I don't really care about it that much. Uh, Divine Grass. A secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks, and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. The Dr. Dogen studied the plants in the ancient place, resulting in the recipe for this special medicine. I actually didn't notice that part before, and I think that's important. That uh, the ancient soil, rocks, and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. Reasons. That specifically is important to note. If you, if you, uh, I guess I can't reasons. talk to him. I was going to see if I could talk to him about anything. Why don't you want to talk with me? What's wrong with me that you don't want to talk? I just want to have a conversation. Is that so much to ask, Hand? I mean, I know I didn't bring you toilet paper as you demand. That's a Majora's Mask reference. Aww. Just, wanna, just want the Hand to like me. So, you notice that that guy has dogs surrounding him. So, what we can do, as this is a stealth game is get stuck underneath the roof and not be able to go to him. Why am I so bad at this? There. So, I'm trying to specifically target him right now. Oh, well, I got the dog. <laughs> Fine. Fine! Don't let me specifically target him. Yeah, so if you block it, if you parry these dogs, that's why I'm getting that attack off on them. Which I think looks pretty badass, so it's worth it just for that. This guy can cause some pretty decent burn damage on you. I think even deflecting it, you'll, yeah, you, can, you still get burn damage or build up even with the deflection. As I'm showing you, I think it, yeah, it, it also hurts you a little bit too. So that is worth noting. It's like chip damage, but it's still worth noting, especially for later portions of the game. Hey, you're done. Sorry, that's it. And your watch has ended. That's, that's some Lord of the Rings right there for ya. I don't think there's anything else here, so, in this front entrance. So here we have the Hirata Estate. If you remember our note about the Hirata Estate, the flamethrower prosthetic should be here, or flame prosthetic, just whatever you want to call it. But first, but first, let's go ahead and grab a idol. Sculptor's Idol will let us. I'm trying to rest. No! <laughs> he got here before I could do it. So these guys can interrupt you from being able to use them. Uh, and then the Sculptor's Idol will become inactive until they walk away. But I had used it to the point where I at least activated it to, so I could fast travel to it if I died. I just wasn't able to rest at it, which I guess I don't need to do. I haven't even gotten. I haven't used anything yet. So. Wait, I have used the Healing Gourd. Or did I forget to give Emma one of them? How many healing gourd recoveries do I have? Oh no! I forgot to give Emma one of them! Ah well, whatever. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. It is what it is. I mean, I could go back and do it right now, but this is a let's play, damn it. I can't, I can't do things that are convenient for me because they're inconvenient for you. I gotta, I can't play smart, I gotta play dumb. It's the motto I live by. The words I live by. No playing smart allowed. Archer guys are pretty easy to kill. Uh, so the face they make is so silly. When you get them. 
Oh, no! I was trying to interrupt him hurting me. Oh, wait a second. I can get the, uh... I can get my attack now. Oh, well. Uh, so that, what he just... Right there, that stab attack, that's what I could use it for. Mm, do I want to go back and get it? Yeah, I do. No, I don't. I can't. I can't be inconvenient to people. No! I'm done. I'm joking. I'm not going back. I'm not going to do anything that could be interpreted as even slightly inconvenient. Not even in the least bit. Alright, so I'm going to actually try to stealth these guys by going over this way since I opened up the possibility by killing everyone who saw me. They can't see me. Um, who is the... Okay, so I think that this guy's probably the toughest of them. The guys with the axe are probably the hardest. Shoot. No! Okay, let's run and break some shit. He's got some burn damage on me. Fine. So once you activate everyone, it's usually pretty good to try to take care of the arrow guys first. Just because... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see that other guy's there. So the arrow guys, just because they will snipe you. While you are, uh... Just like Dark Souls... So I, so uh, man, I guess I should have gotten the Gortz here. At least gotten this, the uh, the Mikiri dodge. So you have to perfectly time out when they do a stab if you don't have the Mikiri dodge. Otherwise, they're gonna hurt you. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt. Huh? DK. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Fighting two enemies at once in this game is really not good. Shoot. All right, we out. Man, that's embarrassing. I really am playing this game worse now that I'm doing this let's play. What'd you guys do to me? I was so decent at this game until you. It was all until you. So, you know, something I could do here. Oh, okay, a dog should come for me at some point here. Come on, wolf. Come on, wolf. Spot me. So I don't have to worry about you later. Thank you. Okay, he's gonna alert everybody to my presence, so I'm gonna try to avoid him seeing me. You actually can stealth kill guys while they're alerted. You just have to be a little more cautious because they're going to look around for you. So, um, but yeah, like as you just might have just seen there, I, I still got a stealth kill on him regardless. Oh, damn you. See, he's alerting everybody to my presence as the fire guys do. Or at least attempting to. Wasn't able to, but did certainly give it a try. Okay, come on. Get the stealth kill. Alright, in the fire there is actually an important item that we're gonna get. I'll go for it after I finish killing these peeps. You can also uh, do this type of kill for these guys, where you drop down on them. Oh, they're like, conference is done. Nobody's here. Oh. There we go. Now that I'm not panicking as much, I can try to properly time it out. Still, like I said, I'm not that good at it, honestly, but it is important. But still, you can you can get these guys without timing things properly. Okay, I know there's a dude over there. So there's a dude who's peeing as well. Oh, you, what? I didn't mean to wake you up, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll kill you then. Sorry I woke you up. So there's the dude who's peeing. So, I think that's kind of funny that they have a dude just totally taking a piss that you can straight up murder. <laughs> Apparently, the guys by the bonfire have a conversation. I don't know if I've actually activated it or not, but if you come around from the back end, it's easier to get the conversation that way. Is there another enemy around here? I thought I saw a yellow sign. Ah, oh, well, I'm going to try to start checking the houses. But the bonfire that we heard about before has the flame barrel. This is the bonfire. An iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted into the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could by a means of, be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. And again, that's a reference to that mid-boss I killed last... Wait, this episode. This is the beginning of this episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check all these houses, although I don't think they actually have anything. The first time I played the game, I thought I found something in one of these, but I was playing the game my second time, and 
I don't remember spotting anything in it the second time I played the game. Maybe this one has... No, it's just that stuff. Um, yeah, alright. Well, I'll check other stuff in a bit. Since I didn't kill everybody here before, I'm going to try to go ahead and do that. Alright, yeah, now that this guy's done, this will be easy. All the stealth kills. So, if you're having trouble, just work on another section and come back, and the guys will be easier to stealth kill, it, especially if you killed some of the guys that you have to stealth, because they kind of just go back to their place. I didn't want to have to show you guys that. I, actually, what I mean is, I totally did bad on it before on purpose. It was just to show you guys that, you know? 100% just to show you guys how the game works. You're welcome. Uh, I made myself look bad for you. It was all for you. So, a lot of areas of this game, I think this is worth mentioning, are actually really easy to run past. So, I started playing New Game Plus on my second game... And, uh, that's who was looking for me. There's another wolf. I start playing New Game Plus on my second game. And it's just so easy when you know where everything is to run to all the bosses. So if you're panicking for a section, you just hold run and start running. A lot of times you honestly can just run past enemies. So really the game has a lot of ways to make it easier when you know how. Alright, let's shoot. I was trying to actually play him properly, and that's what I get. Get a sword in my face. As opposed to tapping R1. Or I mean L1. Fine. Fine. I'll be cheap. Those Wait, who saw me over there? Bastards. Hello. <coughs> you are Shinobi, if if I'm not mistaken. Take the shinobi axe from... from the temple. And split their skulls wide open. Please. Alright, actually some pretty important info they just gave you right there. Before we do that though... Oh, it's hey, shop on it. Open up! Open up or else! I can hear you whispering in there! If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're gonna regret it later! Hey! Can you hear me? So you can actually walk past this guy if you want to kill the harder guy. Uh, that's another thing that you can do with the stealth killing of this game. Because only if one person notices you, it doesn't mean everybody notices you. And that's something that's important to know. And yeah, we're not going to go in there quite yet. So this is actually going to be a shortcut back to my, uh, my sculptor's idol that I had before. So yeah, if I go forward this way, all the way that way, Sculptor's Idol, which I can't use yet. I cannot use it yet because I got to get through this section first. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we burning this simple next for? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough. We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please. Don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry my skull's so thick. <laughs> I think that's funny. I'm sorry my skull's so, so thick, boss. I'm sorry, man. I have to imagine the guy with the axe is the boss since he's the more difficult enemy. That would be my guess. Oh, did your buddies die? Your fellow bandits? N no idea. Who even knows? I didn't hear anything. Definitely did not hear murder happening. You really jam your sword so down in there. Alright, so I know that they won't take from Buddha. I get that that's their thing, but I certainly will. I'll take from Buddha. Take this sweet Shinobi Axe of the Monkey that was mentioned to me before. A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favorite weapon of a Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Uh, so, who that be? Who's the bounding monkey of the Sunken Valley who lost his left arm? I don't know. I don't know who that could possibly be. I can't even count on my hand how many people we know who've lost arms. Uh, like, there's you, there's the sculptor, 
There's Emma. She's missing both arms. It's kind of crazy. Lord Kudo has three arms. That's kind of weird. But uh, the old lady was missing arms. No idea. I am at a loss for who that monkey could be. Yo, we got to kill the roosters so I can get my skill level up. Roosters, you are my offering. Why can't I get food from them? I'm hungry. I need to eat. Some sweet rooster meat. Fine, I guess I'll take pellets. That that tastes way better than a rooster. Totally. Whatever happened to the the thing in video games where you eat like turkey meat? Up oh, there we go. All right, so I'm at four for my skill level now. There's really not much here, honestly. Like you get the ungo sugar. I pretty much never use the sugars, and I should because they can be really helpful. Um, because they give you stuff like Vitality up for a limited amount of time, or Attack up, and you can use them multiple times in battle, but I've just never, I don't know, I just never use them, I just never think to. And there's also certain prosthetics will help you out a lot for certain bosses, and I never do that either. I just, I'm just a base, basic game player, I guess, so basic. We gotta attack him, who dis? Actually, I think you might actually be able to kill him, I'm not sure, I've never tried, but that's something I should do. Let's try, I mean. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... Oh, by the way! While I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. So this is the guy that we met in the future, or present, I guess you could say. The guy from the present who, uh, who wanted to start a shop. Hey, good sir. Keep your eyes peeled out there. While I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a... Uh, and yeah, he's actually giving I... us some advice. So that's pretty cool of him. Not He's actually not a bad dude when you talk to him. I mean, I know he's a looter here, but in the future, he's actually not that bad. Especially if you finish out his storyline in one of the ways that I'm... I'll, I'll talk about later, because I'm actually not going to do his storyline this playthrough in the way that I think is the most interesting for him. But like I said, I'll talk about it later when I get to... Uh, when I get to him. So I could progress further at this point, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and warp back now to equip the prosthetics that I got for a certain reason to show you guys something, which I think most people know, but still, it's just good for an upcoming enemy. And might as well, might as well do my gourd scene now. And I'm also gonna get the Mikiri counter, which is super important for an upcoming encounter. So let's get the Mikiri counter first, which will now allow us to see what the upcoming things do. Uh, so, World 1 Slash, I think, actually helps a lot for one of the bosses. And I think that's all I'm going to get for now. Um, I think... I don't really care too much about Run and Slide. But Suppressed Presence is nice to have. But yeah, so if you notice, I still... All these are unknown. If you... So any one of these things on this tier will unlock telling you what this tier does. And any one of these from this tier will tell you what the next tier does. And that's how the game works for any time you see a tier. So let's go back to the Dilapidated Temple... As you can just quick warp to your mind's content. No more complaining from people who don't like not being able to fast warp right away in a game. Because you can do it right away in these games. You're welcome, says From Software. You can fast warp immediately. Also because the game is built that way. Unlike, say, Dark Souls 1. Which isn't built. Which is built with fat, the idea that you can't fast warp in mind. Which is why it's so interconnected. See, that's, that's part of why I prefer the interconnectedness. I just find it more interesting. Oh yeah, so getting this combat art unlocks the ability to train with it, which uh, actually let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and train the McKinney counter. I think it actually opens up a whole bunch of training with him. You may use me to hold. New training is available. Yeah, yeah, he's got like a ton of new training. Oh, I guess you unlock this training uh, right when you fight that mid boss actually. So this is teaching you about basically like countering those consecutive ones or deflections, I should say. So getting the multiple deflections to get him, uh, that's how you break his posture. 
or guard. I don't remember if it's called guard or posture in this game, but same sort of thing. You get what I'm saying. And I'm doing all these for a reason. It's not really, it's not just to show you guys. Um, wait, oh, I thought, the enemy's posture recovers quickly, use a dodge counter. Oh, this is supposed to be a dodge counter. I thought it was a jump counter that you're supposed to use against him this time. Didn't I already do the dodge counter one? Oh, to reduce their vitality. Okay, so this is one where you're supposed to do it for vitality as opposed to, um... As opposed to try, try to get his counter down. So this is the same thing that they were teaching you before, where it's like, you can break his guard. Except for instead, it's you can kill his vitality if the guard thing's not working out for you. Come on. Oh, wait, now focus on breaking posture and performing... Oh, it does want me to break his posture. Enemies with low vitality recover posture slowly. Face me again. The enemy's posture recovers quickly. Use dodge to counter their vitality. So want, I see what it wants you to do. Okay. So I think I might have mentioned this briefly before. But. Come on. There. Now that he's guarding. Um, their posture. This isn't going to count, is it? That's what I hate about this training thing. I just want to kill... Excellent. Oh, good. It works. <laughs> um, the less health an enemy has, the slower their posture recovers. And that's incredibly important for bosses. Most of the enemies that you fight, some of them is important, but most of them not so much. But for the bosses, that's really important. Countering thrust attacks. So you can do L1 as an enemy thrust to deflect, or you can step dodge. Normally, we're about to find another way, but... Again, if you're just guarding, which let me show you against him, you're gonna get hurt. So yeah, you actually have to time it out for for when you see the danger sign for that. Okay. Thought I had it, but I guess not. There we go. I find that to be a little more interesting. Uh, I was gonna see if it I could get it just by spamming it. You definitely can. Ah, it's gonna waste time. It's a waste of time, but... So sometimes what I do is if I timed it out, I'll try to time it out, but if I mess it up, then I'll start to spam it. And usually that works, but I guess uh, they're more precise if they're going to try to do uh If it's a danger attack, they probably don't let you yeah. do that trick. So normally, honestly, when I see that, I dodge out of the side. Excellent. That's more my reaction to it. Or what you'll see momentarily, which is the Mikiri counter, which, uh, let's go ahead and do that now. This is really what you should be doing if you see someone stab. Like, you really want to get this down. Because it lowers their posture so much. And even if it doesn't, it at least allows you to get it hidden. And it's just a guaranteed way. It actually has a pretty good counter range. Uh, it has a better... You have more time to get it than a deflection. Like, for deflection, you have to be more precise. For Makiti counter, you don't have to be as precise to pull it off. Which is really what I think is more important with it. Uh, so you don't have to be quite as good to get it. I guess it's more of the point. You also have this jump kick attack. Which, if they're going to do a sweep, you can't Makiti counter it. Uh, I don't think you can L1 counter it either. I should have probably read that. But you really just have to jump over it. Jump counter it. Face me again. But you're just going to do the same thing. I already get it. Although, again, there is a reason I'm doing the training. Outside of just showing it to you. You actually get an item for finishing all of it. Face me again. Really? Why? <laughs> oh, wants me to do it in midair? In air posture broken. Fine. <laughs> You satisfied? I'm satisfied. Alright, uh, free combat. So now we get the applied free combat where it's actually like... More like what an enemy is really going to be like. Oh, shoot. Dodge... Oh, yes. Yeah, a lot of times you'll hear myself say out loud what I want to do. Because it helps me out. <laughs> I'm like, dodge, dodge, dodge! Do the right thing, me. Oh, what were we gonna do there? Okay, fine. Makita counter. 
I keep on expecting him to do the sweep one since he hasn't yet, but all right, whatever. That it? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Once again, a set being killed for a worthy purpose was a bit refreshing. One little thing. Mind going a little easier on me? This actually hurts quite a bit. No. You have my gratitude. Huh. What do you mean? I am truly grateful to you for enduring such pain for me. <laughs> no need to thank me. I know what I said before, but actually I'm used to the pain. I see. <laughs> what? I'm just glad that my curse is of use to someone. Feels as if there could be a purpose to it after all. This temple I really thought he adventure. gave you something. I thought the first time I did it, he gave me something, but Come back I get to receive a single thing for him, from him this time around. Oh wait, actually, is there an item over here? I feel like there's an item that I missed. No? Man, I'm so confused. Who am I? What am I doing? Who am I? I don't even know anymore. I'm glad you've come. So she doesn't have anything for us until you true die, which I haven't yet. And I'm going to try to avoid doing as long as I can. So, you're back. Was that a dream? Or was it real? Mm -hmm. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. Okay, so I'm actually gonna exit out to see if he has some new dialogue, because he should give you dialogue for getting that axe. Another tap? You need? Maybe if you present it to him? Another out. Did I have to rest to get it? You need I thought he said so like has some memory when you gave him the axe. Maybe I just circumvented getting that. Here. Okay, so for getting three prosthetics, I guess this is what you get. That uh, you get the prosthetic esoteric text. Book of Secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with the Shinobi prosthetic grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research, he never expected to pass these on to anyone else. And that man is referring to is the sculptor. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again, but it seems I was wrong. Alright. So, basically, we can equip three at once, that's what we're gonna do, since I have three, might as well, and uh, yeah, Whirlwind Slash, this specific one actually doesn't take any spirit emblems, but a lot of them do. And what the roll one slash is, just to show you, is this. And it, honestly, I think it's really good for one of the bosses. It helps me a lot with one of them. So I think it's pretty good to have. Uh, I guess we'll go back to the Hirata Estate, as I mentioned, now that I have this item. Because uh, I got some more mid-bosses to hunt down and murder their faces. Both of those things. Those are the things that I want. Actually, wait. Oh, there's something I wish I'd done first. Let me think. I want to get the demon bell, and I'm trying to decide when I should do it. Hmm. So many options. There's so many ways you can go at once. It's crazy. This game's so non-linear. This game actually is pretty non-linear, which I think... I know a lot of people... I've seen complaints that people don't think this game has very much replayability, but I think the non-linear element of which path you can choose and when actually adds a lot to it. And the fact that you can run this way and just honestly run past so many enemies, I think also adds replayability to it in the sense of like, it's so easy to try to speed run the game in that regard because it's and do different challenge runs. Because it is pretty easy with this game in particular to do a run where you're like, I'm only going to fight uh, the bosses. I'm not gonna do anything else. And you can do that pretty well other than some required mid bosses. 
Because some of the mid-bosses are required, but a lot of them are not. So there, a lot of them you can run past. Like the one right... Well, actually, I was going to say the one right here is required, except for you actually... This entire... This entire section is optional. So I guess you don't have to face this mid-boss if you don't want. But if you want to finish this section, you do. If you're doing an all-bosses run, for example. Anyways, the reason I wanted that axe was for, as you should have just seen, what I just did right there. Uh, where you can break their shield, and that also automatically gives you a... Uh, that also automatically gives you a... Ah, uh, oh, damn it, the enemy saw me. I don't care about the mid-boss enemies seeing me, I was just really hoping those other enemies didn't. Ah! Oh, sometimes it's really... I don't know, I feel like it doesn't work exactly right with the Mikiri. I'm sure I was just early, and I'm just gonna complain about it. This is one that you really should... Again with it. Nope, sweep attack. I have done better. Again, I did better when I wasn't playing off online. So yeah, if you notice, I'm really... The Mikita counter is so important for this guy. Like, he does so many of those stabs in a row that that's just like what he tries to spam you with. No, 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 no. I, I don't know. If, I guess maybe that's just not considered a... Uh, that was supposed to be a jump. Ha! I actually thought I was going to screw that up, if I'm being honest. Oh, I got him! Oh, got a prayer bead. You thought I was going to die. I know that's what you were thinking, because I didn't have any health left. But I didn't. I was considering using a pellet, but I was like, nah. Nah, I can do this without the pellet. I can I can get it. Alright, let's, let's take care of this guy, though. Hey, boy. Why you gotta kick dirt in my face? What's that all, all about? Also, I wasn't targeting him. That was that was a mistake. <laughs> that was way closer than I wanted it to be. All right, you must go down. So, what you probably didn't notice, but this gate right here, there's a fog wall that only disappears when you kill that mid boss. So that's where he's actually necessary. So, got to fight some of them. I don't think there's anything up here. I think it's just a way to escape, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double check, actually. Yeah, it's just the getaway zone. Uh, river over there, there's actually a shortcut that you can take, but I'm not going to use it right now. Go ahead and think about it later. And it would probably be in my best interest to fight the other mid-boss right now. That I was just about at last time. Um, probably would be in my best interest. But eh, I guess we'll worry about it later. How much money do I have anyways? You should buy gold bags whenever you can as an aside. Because uh, you lose half of your gold no matter what when you die. And there's just no way to get it back. Alright, so there's a secret over here that I'm going to go ahead and try to do. This is where I think it would actually be in my best interest to go uh, fight the other mid-boss so I could get another prayer bee, because that would make my first prayer necklace and I could actually level some stuff up. But, um... Yeah, also... Oh, there's another... Another, uh, magic carp here. I totally lost track of what I was going to say because I said that. Oh, I was going to say, try to remember all the water areas like this. Because you're going to gain an ability later that makes them more useful. So anytime you see water, try to remember that. So here's a secret area of the game. Where it's going to teach me about footholds. And just the first time you get to one of these footholds, I think, is the one it teaches you. It doesn't ma matter where in the game. And what we find is the three-story pagoda that we were being told about by our friend the merchant robber thief. And a ninja guarding it, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm not very good against these ninjas, just as a... Oh, yeah, that's a Mikiti counter chance. So you can also Mikiti counter, uh, as you just noticed, right there. What the fuck? No! Okay, I, I'm gonna peace out. I don't wanna, um... I don't wanna lose all my money. Shoot. 
Shoot, shoot, shoot. And I will go ahead and fight him again. So I guess this is going to be a... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, right in the den. Right in the lion's den. No, no, no. This was the worst escape ever. <laughs> oh, boy. This is just going fantastic. I don't think I've ever done this poor of an escape before. Oh, God. I'm probably going to die right now. Okay. Wow, is that bad? That was such a bad escape. That's unbelievably bad. Oh, you can't swim, idiot. At least I don't think they can. All right, so this is gonna be my escape route. <laughs> Go up this way. Also use half of your skill points when you die, and I almost have a new skill point, so don't do something dangerous when you're about to die. That's my advice to you. All right, come on, pull off the rest, pull off the rest, pull off the rest. Try to kill this damn purple ninja again. These guys are rough. Uh, they have a specific name, lore-wise, that's actually interesting for the lore, but I can't remember what it is at the moment. As uh, there, There's a specific number of them. I believe if I remember correctly, they're part of the interior ministry of the game. That's the faction they're a part of. And that's also extremely important lore-wise uh, for the fact that you, you're seeing one of them here. So, yeah, bear that in mind. The fact that you're actually seeing one of these guys here is important, watching over things. Damn. Maybe I'm just not being aggressive enough. Shoot. Should have Makiri that. But then again, last time I Makiri did, I didn't get any health drainage on him. Nope. Oh, damn it. I knew that was going to be a sweep. I'm stuck on, a, stuck on bamboo. Oh, damn it. Surprise, motherfucker! You thought I was dead, but I'm not! Bye! <laughs> Best escape route. Best escape route. Alright, I'm gonna just fast cut this. You guys don't need to see me running back and forth as I attempt to beat this guy. Oh, you usually can actually get out of the way of that. That's a good attack for me to get an attack on, even though I probably could have jumped it. No, no, no! Uh, I realized too late that I should have dodged into it. Bitch, shit, come on. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, really? That sucks. Usually I can get some health off of him at that spot. Oh! Press star one. I don't know what happened. Like, I'm 100% positive I pressed it on time. Jump. It used to be all fun in games, but now it's taking me a while, so I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> Nope, dodge into that. Thank you very much. Well, I gotta get him some more health depleted from him so I can actually deal some lasting damage on him. Okay, that was kind of... What the... What? <laughs> should be trying to heal... Actually, I should be punishing him for that stuff, but... Nope, dodge into it, dodge into it. Is this going to be enough? Nope, not enough. Damn. How much do you have left? Oh, he's almost done. Eh. Damn. Almost there. He's almost there. This has got to be it. It's not it. There, finally. Purple Shinobi. Get done. What would the Interior Ministry think of you now? Ashina's burdened with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Oh, I guess that's how they uh, they make their money. That would seem to imply. Interesting, though, is that you actually don't get a, a prayer beat from him because he's not considered a mid-boss. And you actually don't have to kill him to get the item back here that I was going for, either. 
totally optional. You also don't need this uh, at all. It's totally optional, so you can come back way later in the game and get it if you're having too much trouble with him or don't want to try to, like, skip past him, even though you have iframes when you're opening up doors, so you can if you want. Might as well just get this if you're having trouble with him. Mist Raven's Feather. A bundle of Mist Raven feathers can be fitted into the Shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. In Usui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Mist Raven is the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone, only feathers in your grasp. So it kind of clues into what that's going to do, which essentially is just a good dodge. It's like a better dodge than your normal one that actually gives you real iframes, I'd say. So I could drop down here, but... Basically, this is a way to... Uh... to give the enemy a bit more of a drop in this part. I actually don't want to go this way yet. I'm going to come back here. I was just trying to see how many enemies I could kill. Uh, I'm going to fight another mid-boss, because I I know I don't have that much time left for an hour, because that's how I'm trying to make these, is an hour long, but uh, I feel like with... Um, I don't know. I feel like killing another mid-boss and getting, like, a prayer bead, so... That's what I'm going to do. I guess I was going to say that I like making these an hour, or trying to make them an hour. Oh god. Okay. Fine. We'll take care of you guys another day, another time. So, I didn't really need to, uh... I, there were times that I was running away from him that I could have just tried to forge on and risk getting a true death. Because after you resurrect once, if you die again, you'll get a true death, unless a certain condition, which we'll talk about when it happens. But I'm just trying to see how far I can go without getting a true death. That's just one of the things I want to try right now. So, uh, you do get more lore for doing the true death thing, and honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Outside of losing half your money and skill points, which there are ways to uh, avoid if you're going to fight an enemy you think is really difficult, like a boss, for example. Um, or mid-boss that you were like, I don't want to risk this stuff. There's ways that to avoid really losing anything important, and death isn't honestly a big deal at all in this game, like most from software games, as long as you know how to deal with it. So, oh, there's an item there I missed. Let's get the item first. And then I'll, then I'll, wait, mm. Gotta kill him before he gets too close to the stairs. Otherwise, it wakes up these guys, then I'm going to try to sneak kill. Yeah, and this guy, you want to wait a little bit before you go in for? Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Well, that's that. <laughs> I'll do another attempt. So there's a mid-boss up there, and that's why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I wouldn't care, and I just want to have all my, uh, my healing for the mid-boss, since honestly, I'm not great at him at this specific mid-boss. I, I can deal with him, but I wouldn't say I'm, like, all that good at him. No, I've never actually tried doing this route to kill all the guys. This actually might be a little bit faster. Because, yeah, you can kill the guys from this. Yeah, actually, this seems to be a better way to do it. And I never did it before, so I actually just learned something new. A better way to sneak attack all these guys. Uh-oh. That shot might wake up some people. Hey! No! <laughs> Come over here! Why you gotta wait so long? Bro? Yeah, you might have been able to hear me mashing my controller. Which is kind of a bad habit that I gotta get better at. Oh, uh-oh. Mid-boss is kind of awake. I don't want him to be awake yet, because I do want to stealth kill one of his kills. Which... I guess it's a good opportunity to show it off that you can do that. Let's see where he decides to go from here. And I'll determine where I go. Uh, it looks like he's going to check it up. Come on, pick that up. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't look over here. Okay, oh, god damn it. Yamauchi saw me. Whatever, we'll come back later. Which, by the way, Yama means mountain and Uchi means mouth. Like the... I don't know if it's like a human mouth, but like a mouth of a area. So it'd be like a mountain's mouth, if I remember correctly. 
Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. And we'll come to that in a moment. I'm just trying to get him not to know where I am. Seriously, bro? Alright, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll come back to him in a second. Okay. That's the way to do it. Because I just want to reset him so I can come back later and actually get a stealth kill on one of his kills. Which I haven't done for a mid-boss yet, so I can actually show it off. And all the mid-bosses I've fought so far, this is something that you could have done. So notice that there's an item up there, and there's an area there. That's where we're going to go to in a moment. But, uh... I guess... Hmm. No, I'm not going to leave the area. So there's something I wanted to do over here after I fight this guy, which is part of why I wanted to do this for this let's play. But, uh... Let's just... It's fine. I can wrap around here first. Might as well. Just to show it off and, you know. So here we go. Here's the top of what you just saw before. And I don't think there's any items down there, but uh, there was a locked door that I didn't go to in the previous, or earlier in this episode. I guess it was earlier this specific episode that I can now do and take a look-see at. Don't poison me. These guys have poison. Oh yeah, so one of the things I really want to unlock as one of my first skills to get is there's a skill you can get that makes it so you recover health anytime you uh, do a fatal a death blow on somebody. And that's super, super useful. It's actually one of my favorite techniques in the game. So I'd say that's the second most... In my opinion, it's the second most important thing right past the McKitty counter. With the McKitty counter being an easy number one. Like, you need the technique. 10 out of 10... Highly recommend. You need it. So saith I. I, 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 I. Alright, so this is back to the top of this mountain area. And what the fuck? How did he see me? Where is he? I don't even... Like, his health bar isn't up. I'm so confused. Like, seriously, how did he... S oh, he's there. What? Nope. Who saw me? Why is that noise happening? Like, usually that music indicates somebody saw you. And is chasing after you. But it sure isn't General Yamauchi. Alright, so... With these mid-bosses, you can stealth kill them at least one time. But you still have to deal with them for real. Even after that. So, super important to know. And note. Okay, so that's going to be a jump right there. So this is going to be kind of like... A, this is like, I'd say the first like real, real mid-boss. Oh, damn, I jumped instead of dodging. That's a mistake I make a lot in this game, just because there's two types of dodges in this game. So in my head, I'm thinking like dodge, but I always, sometimes I'll just press the wrong button. Oh, that's a grab. You can't do anything about that, so you got to get out of the way of it. Oh, shoot, that's a sweep, and I should have jumped. I think those jump attacks are really kind, because <laughs> they're so easy to predict. Alright, so actually when I get that deflect on him, I should be trying to hit him back for it. Uh-oh, no, 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 don't get your posture back. You cannot do it. And there's Yamauchi gone. And I'm going to get my final prayer bead. So now I have four, so I can actually uh, go ahead and level up my vitality and posture. And... To do that, I'm going to go to a different Sculptor's Idol and activate uh, essentially a hard mode, a mini hard mode that you can do. And this is actually how I pretty much played the entire game last time I played it uh, on my own. So I want to do that this time too. And not, not necessary, you just get some... I actually don't know exactly what the benefits are. I know it makes you get rare items a little bit easier. I don't know if you get more Sen or experience points or stuff like that. So that's something I should probably find out. You'll also find a headless here. It's going to be your first time seeing one. Uh, which is over there. Uh, honestly, oh, whoops, probably bad way to drop. Anyways, he's right there. There is no point in dealing with him yet, so we're just going to run the hell away from him. Uh, over this way. I got Divine Confetti on the way here. And they are actually pretty easy to deal with when you know what to do. Uh, so we're going to do the Shinobi Escape Route, which... Oh, that's right. I wanted to show the other one off. 
I guess I'll do it. I was going to end the episode when I went to this part, but I guess I'll end it even later because I want to show this one thing off. Okay, so if you go here... Actually, let's kill this guy first so, I, so he doesn't bother me. These are called centipedes. I don't know why. That's just their shinobi name. So this door doesn't open from this side, but we're te technically in Senpo Temple right now. However, the you can go here early if you want, as the way I did in order to get this bell. So, do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the status of heart should ever consider it. And after reading that, you're allowed to ring the bell, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Because I want that sweet misfortune. Sinister Burden. A demonic spirit sealed within the Iron Bell of Sempo Temple possesses those who ring the bell, strengthening enemies around them. The bell demon confers hardship, but also slightly better spoils. Using this item has no particular effect aside from causing the demon to leave. So it slightly better spoils, but I'm not sure 100% how. I don't know if it. In I think it increases item drop rate, but I don't know if it makes it more likely for you to get better items. I don't know if you get more sen, which is the currency. I don't know uh, a lot of things, really. I don't know if it gives you more experience. Uh, I so this will tell you the same thing right there for the Bell Demon. So if you want to go away, there's no reason not to try this if you want, because you can make the Bell Demon go away at any point that you want. So let's go ahead and acquire some skills. Uh, I'm going to acquire, I think, hmm. Where is it? Where is that one that I want? Let's see, run and slide. This is going to do the presence one. I think it's one of those ones up there. But I can't remember. There it is. Yep, Breath of Life Light. That's what I want. Uh, recovers vitality upon performing a successful death blow. And the ones down here, Shinobi Eyes is really good because that makes your Mikiri uh, counter even better. Definitely recommend getting that. And I think if, for me doing all the stealth stuff, the suppressed stuff just makes it a little bit easier to do stealth. Honestly, a lot of the things here I don't find that important. I don't use a lot of these skills. The prosthetics stuff I almost never use. As you no may have noticed, I haven't really been using my prosthetics. Oh, let's also enhance my physical attributes before I forget. First prayer necklace. The top stuff's always the same. Increases your, your maximum vitality and posture. But the ferocity of Ashina's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented. Every one of them accomplished in the Ashina sword style. Which we will find out a little bit more about later. Let's go back to the dilapidated temple. Uh, so I can go ahead and show the other thing that I wanted to showcase. Finisher Death Blow. I actually never read this stuff, and I probably should, because maybe I'd find out things that I don't think about. All right, so Emma, I don't think is going to have anything new for us to talk about. Yeah, so it doesn't. Let me know if I don't think the power. So basically, she thinks that there's a cost to you resurrecting, which it is. Let me spoil it for you, because so far I haven't had to. There is. So over this way, there's actually a secret shinobi entrance, but you can't use it. It's still from the other side. So it's something that uh, it's it's just interesting to see, but there's nothing to do with it yet. And. Uh, well, while I'm here, might as well talk to the sculptor. You need. Yeah, I want to get this sweet Mist Raven upgrade that I'm probably, nev probably never going to use. Another pound. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this Let's Play of Sekiro. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.